Hey guys, so in today's vlog, um, I wanna talk about reincarnation and past lives. Specifically, how can you in this life get little hints of what you did in past lives? And yes, I'm talking from experience. I'm really excited to share this story because it might give you some inklings of what you've experienced in your life as very dull and just like, I don't know why I have those interests. Uh, does this make me weird? No, it could be connected to a past life. Isn't that exciting? Okay, so I'm gonna make it really simple by sharing my story. So ever since I was young, and when I say young, I mean like probably I would say I started making money around 14. And I remember when I was 16, I had to go to the doctors and the doctor was basically like, you gotta take some iron. And he wanted to give me some iron pills. And I was like, no, I don't want, I don't want to take iron pills. And I ended up, because I used to drive, and I had my own money now. So I ended up going to the Whole Foods market. Like j just, and I didn't really even know, I knew I wanted something natural, which is kind of crazy because my family was not into anything natural at that time. So I drove my ass to the Whole Foods market to, and I went into their natural section. I ended up talking to one of the ladies that worked there and she introduced me to this iron, liquid iron, and it was freaking $40 back then. I'm not gonna forget that because I was like, my friends are buying clothes and I'm buying liquid iron for like all my, all my money that I just like worked, either babysat for, or I used to work at Eaton's back then. I do remember thinking that. And the reason I bought the more expensive liquid $40 bottle was because of the bottle, not even the iron. So you guys, if you can visualize like, you know those old school medicinal brown bottles? Like the, the glass brown bottles that are kind of square, have a lid, a screw lid on top. That's what the bottle looked like. And then from that day, and I, and I could have bought a cheaper version, but I bought that because I was just attracted to the bottle. So after that, obviously I went and bought more, but I was always excited to buy iron. And I started looking at other bottles and then I started collecting glass bottles. Like even our toner here, we put it in a glass bottle now. I, I started getting this like, almost like an obsession with dark, especially dark. I liked working with the darker glass. Anyways, even now, so that was back then. Okay, and every time I've moved, I've had to throw out bottles. I'll wash them and then I keep them for some reason. I don't know why, but I do know why now. So then, now that I'm moving from this place, I've been cleaning my house and just, oh my God, the amount of empty bottles I had to get rid of because I'm downsizing, it actually broke my heart. I'm not gonna lie, I was like, ah. but. I went and I recycled everything. All the glass bottles are gone. I have some mason jars, because I drink my water out of them. I put, I give away things in mason jars, so I do have those. But here's the connection. So all my life, I've been weirdly drawn to, especially this color, these glass bottles. And I figured it out. So. Over the years, I have been into um, alchemic work. So I've been into, even if, it, even if it means like I've looked into, I remember six or seven years ago, I was looking into stills, like those heavy copper stills. Mainly people make alcohol out of them, but I was kind of like, I wonder if I can do hydrosols, essential oils. And six years ago, I started looking into it, but the copper pots just looked really heavy in energy and, and I, I wasn't sure. Plus I was extremely stressed in that point in my life I owned many businesses and well, when I say many, I just mean two. So maybe I should just calm it down. I owned a couple of businesses, but in my mind it felt like many because all, every business has almost killed me. I'm not gonna die. <laughs> 
I had to tell myself I'm not going to die. That was, that came out because I literally was like, these businesses are not going to kill me. So it feels like it was many, but actually it was only two. So back to the story, but I've, I was, I would for fun cause I needed to put myself in a state of happiness. I would like shop for, for stills. And I started looking at alchemy sets. Like I didn't know, I didn't realize back there what you need, what need, what I needed to buy if I wanted to make my own glass set. So let's fast forward. Now I'm 43 and now like I finally have realized that, oh shit, I was probably an alchemist in my past life. I mean, why would a 14 year old or a 16 year old be obsessed with like bottles and not pretty bottles? Okay, not your like pretty perfume bottles or those bottles that have like fancy bling on them. Those actually piss me off. I can't stand those water bottles because of the vibration they give out. They're just so prissy. And I mean, I don't mind prissy. If you like them, awesome. It's part of your character and personality. But for me, nothing about, oh, maybe that's why I drink out of a mason jar with like just a regular lid. Maybe, I don't know. So look at your characteristics. What are you attracted to? And the more I realized, like the more I started then, okay, so sorry. So now that I've realized, holy shit, I was probably an alchemist in a past life. No wonder I wanna freaking make my own essential oil. I wanna make my own hydrosol, the alcohol of a, of a plant the oil of a plant, then I wanna burn that shit down and I wanna get the salt of a plant. And the reason I wanna do that is because there, these plants correspond with planets which correspond with your chakras and when you take the oil, um, the alcohol and the salt of, of a plant, let's say, I just wanna work with herbs right now because they're the easiest, and you take like, let's say I'm working with a herb that, that gets its consciousness from Jupiter. And then let's say that a person that is blocked in, in one of their chakras, I don't know which one corresponds to, I can't remember which one corresponds to Jupiter, but let's say you take what the tincture that I have created with the all three essence of that plant. So you drink the soul of the plant, which is the oil. You these are drops, sorry, because you only get like four mil. It's extractions. You only get a little bit from a huge uh, biomass of plant. So for example, if you take drops in your evening tea of, of an essence that consists of the soul of the plant, which is the oil, consists of the, the alcohol of the plant, which is the water, the hydrosol, and then you burn that plant down and it takes a long time, but then you get, the, you get ashes and then you get salt, and the salt of a plant. Then you have to, once you take those three components um, out of themselves, the plant's now like gone. You've taken all essence. So you've taken the body of the plant, which is the salt, the alcohol of the plant, which is the mind, the spirit. That's why spirits, alcohol is called spirit. People call them spirits. Um, and then you've taken the soul of the plant, which is the soul, uh, which is, sorry, the oil. So now you've got the Holy Trinity. So if you're, if like your heart chakra, let's say your heart chakra is out of alignment, and with the heart chakra um, is aligned with Venus. Venus's herbs and plants, I know copper is the metal of Venus, but I'm not sure which herbs and plants are. Let's just say roses. I don't know why they came to mind. I don't know if they correlate. But then what you could do is you could take that heart chakra of yours. So if I make, and I'm going to make one of these, that's why I'm talking, I'm going to make a rose essence with all three components of the plant, and then you ingest it. Now you're ingesting the consciousness of Venus. 
through this plant and you're activating that heart chakra in ways that you can't even imagine. So I have been like kind of studying this stuff, doing this, this stuff, um, like doing this stuff on paper. I haven't started it. I'm gonna buy in my new house. I'm gonna start, it's gonna be my first big project. Um, I've purchased uh, one of those machine things where you can extract. Very excited, like extremely excited. So this is how you, you have to really become interested in yourself. You have to become that person who is constant inquiry about yourself, the inside of you and the outside of you. What are your characteristics? What makes you happy? What are you attracted to? And think of me, think of my story and think like, why would I, I never knew, why would I have been attracted to freaking dark bottles like this because I've used them in another lifetime. I've probably taught this shit in another lifetime too because I have high resonance with this teacher. I enjoy this. This is fun for me. So I've probably been a teacher in another lifetime. Maybe I was a teacher of alchemy. I don't know and I don't care, but these are. this is how you get to know yourself more. Do the things you have fun, like create, be creative. I started drawing for God's sake. Like I draw now, like who am I? And then I do social, I do, um, I draw sacred geometry. And when you're drawing a circle or you're drawing a triangle, you're taking in the consciousness of the triangle just so you know. Love you guys. I hope that helped. And if you've had experience with this stuff, please comment below. I want to hear your story. What'd you do with it? Did you like carry on with that project or has work just bogged you down and you can't be creative because you get home and you're tired? Let me know.